in, in, in this, so I'm just going to take some time to talk about the Git, right? So we, as an assignment number one, you need to have you to upload your code to GitHub. This is just to get you start started. Uh, of course, we need to talk more, more about Git, how to use it, the basics and stuff, right? So first of the first thing I want you to do is go to, go to this uh, article and sign yourself up with the class, uh, with the class GitHub accounts. That allows us to, that gives you a space to submit your, your, your um, ass assignments, right? So in my case, I'm just going to open my Git GitHub account, right? So if you see the last step here, I, I, I have the screen here, right? It gives you like, this is your repository. Now, on Git, everything is, is divided into repositories. Now, one repository is like a repository of code. So a repository is just a place where you insert your code and your code is hosted. Uh, sorry, your code resides in the repository, right? So now Git is a distributed offline uh, version control system. Now the distributed mean meaning it can work across multiple com com computers and offline means you don't have to be always connected to the internet for it to work. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with Git and then we are going to go ahead with github all right so uh, I, i'm going to I'm, I'm going to go to one of my uh, my files right i'm going to go to go here i'm going to clear now i'm, I'm going to go to my projects uh, it's my desktop project right i'm going to create let's just say you are starting a new project i'm going to create mkdir let's say new project right and i'm, and I'm going to change my data into that project now cu currently this project is empty right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say git in it uh first the the first thing is you should have the down you should have installed git in the first place so to check that i'm just say git and it should give me this uh, help command for os x for windows similarly just open command prompt and you should get the same thing now the first thing to do is i'm going to say git so make sure you are in the directory that you want in my case i am in the new projects directory I'm going to say git in it. So uh, I'm saying to git, hey git, initialize a new repository here. When I do that, it says, hey, I have initialized an empty git repository over here. Now the next next step is to actually add something to your repository. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is let's say you have to create a new file. I'm going to say, hey, I'm, I'm going to create my first file. Uh, na na nano first file dot in this case just uh, you know it's a text, text file you could have any number of files here for simplicity I'm just getting a text file I'm gonna say uh, my first line of code I'm gonna say control O enter control X enter of course you could also use something that is uh, a graphical user interface so in if you use a code VS code right uh, you could open this file and I, I could make some change my second line of code right and as I say save it see here uh, you can use this, this this interface also but what happens is if I use a graphical user interface stu students don't understand the base basics so I'm going to go back right so in this case what I want to do here is I'm going to say uh, if you look at the presentation that we have on black blackboard we have these three things so your working directory that is currently where your code is hosted right now you 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 stage something to a staging directory and then you put it to commit it to your repository now one important command is get git status in this case there are no commits yet you're in the master branch and these files are not tracked now you have to explicitly tell git which files it should put into source control for example you you have a file which you don't want to share okay so for example there are always some scripts that you don't want your uh, your other people to know or some things with pass pass passwords right in our case i'm going to say git add first file.txt it is going to add this file into my git tra tracking if i had a git status now it should say hey i i have a new file all right but the changes are not committed yet i'm going to say git commit dash m so now this the my changes are in the staging area right so what we do is we make our changes in the working directory then we say once we are done i'm like hey 
I'm done with this. I'm going to push the changes. Before we push, we put it to a staging area. It's just a middle ground. You could always remove things from it and you could, you could always forward things from it. Commit dash M. I then going to say first commit and enter. Now, if I say git status, right? So we are on the master master branch and there is nothing to commit because we are already uh, com 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 committed. If I say git log, it's gonna show me all the, the log of all my previous com com commits. Now commit is just a work. Okay, so you have a code, you submit that code, that's a commit. Okay, so now what, what we have is, okay, you, you have this locally. Now what? You're supposed to share it with your friends. How would your, now, okay. Before we share it, I'm going to say, you know, make some more changes. I'm going, I'm going to open my file, right? And I'm going to add my third line of code. I'm going to save. And now if I say git stay status, what do you expect? It says that, you know, this file has been modif modif modified. It intelligently tracks those things. I'm going to say git add. So I'm going to add all the changes that I did. If I had a git status now, again, see, now it becomes red. So the changes are in the staging area, but they have not been, been in the de main directory, in the main repository. So git commit dash m added the third module, right? Now that would, again, you, you added new, so git log here, I have these two commits, right? They specify the ID, each commit has an ID, that, that is very unique and the author, the time, and the message that, that we gave. So we have two commits now. How would you share this to one of your friends? Uh, you know, you could use GitHub. Now, GitHub just allows you to share something, right? So I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to create a new repository. In your case, you have to use the repository that is assigned to you as you join here. See this here? Uh, I'm going to take you to this screen. I'm just going to create a new okay see there's the same screen here now I just created my private repository but you're not supposed to do it you're supposed to submit your work into your uh, CSI 408 community and the your assigned repository all right so in, but just to give you a case of course now I have this right what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this command I'm telling Git, hey Git, add a remote endpoint. Now that allows Git to basically say add. So, okay, let me go through this command a word at a time. Git, that is your command, right? That is your program. I'm saying, hey Git, add a remote. Now remote is a server that Git can push its repository to. Now this server can be accessed by many people and you know, it's available on the internet or your intranet, whatever it is. I'm going to say add. I'm going to say, hey, add a remote. I'm going to g g g give it a name called as origin. Now, origin is just a name. Just that's a convention. And I'm going to give this the, the URL of where this remote is hosted. There we go. And I'm going to say git push. Now, what we do is using this command, when you say git push, you're saying your current direct repository that is in your local machine, you're going to push it where to or origin and which branch that's your master. Okay, so there we go. If I go here, if I refresh this, there we go. That's my file. See here, first line, second line, third line. If you go to the commits, there are two commits here, first commit and the second commit, right? If you click on that, you see that, oh, this, these things were changed, right? So that, that allows you to track what things happened when one important concept is called branching a branch is just you know uh, you have your main code and you need to create a new feature of that code so let's just say i want to create change something but i don't really want to affect my main branch right that's your main place because that is shared now remember everything is shared with everybody what i do is so that okay Be before we go to branching so in your case, I'm just going to select, I'm going to create a new file called as na nano index.html, right? I'm going to add something here and I'm going to say git add again. Remember very, very, very simple commands, right? So all you have to do is I'm going to say, just, I'm going to add something here. I'm just going to add insert a slide. Uh, some simple commands are 
uh, git add dot that just adds everything in that current directory git add I'm going to say git commit dash m uh, message here right and git push there we go very important commands get git it add git commit and say git push there we go so if I go in here I should have that file here see there, there we go we have this index.html file so essentially that is what we all need for our um, to explore the project structure I'm just going to say ls dash al so this dot git report that dot git uh, directory that we have that is where everything is stored now that that is a prop that is something that get works you are not supposed to touch that file that touch that folder all right so that is all we need for your assignment all right so we just need to have this index.html here all right and it should have hello world in it stuff that's it that's it now you should fo follow this guide it's very it's very very nice it explains you the workflow like i mentioned working directory you add you add it to the index and then you c c commit okay add and commit hey it gives you the same things here with pushing changes again there we go branching now branches are used to develop things that are isolated from your uh, main code so in this case i'm going to say git branch new feature all right now what it did it, it basically you see this master it created this new branch here now whatever changes i make to this here right if i say git checkout I'm now we created a branch, but it so if I get checkout new feature, I'm I'm on a new branch feature. So if, if I edit something, I'm gonna say nano and I add let's say my second line, right? And I'm say git again, the same thing, the same drill. Git add uh, git commit uh, new feature try one and git push. Git sorry, git push origin new feature right now if you go to my github now what it will do is refresh see now this index HTML, HTML file it still remains the same but since this new feature there's a new branch called as new feature if i go here hey i have a second which is not over there it's, it's only in here what you could do now is let's say you work on this so you add a couple more commits and stuff and you say hey i'm ready i'm like i am ready so I'm going to say compare and pull request. You go to pull request tab. I'm going to create a new pull request. Now we want to merge stuff, right? So to come, you have to merge this new feature into the master, right? I'm going to say create a pull request. Create pull request, and there we go. It just gives you a, a, a UI to see stuff here. See that these were the number of comments that have happened on this new branch. Uh, checks are something that is advanced. I'm going to talk talk about now. These are the files that have changed. All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna you can comment on these things if, if you if you are in a team I'm gonna say close the pull request and that would essentially do this if you go to my code now, right? We should see the master branch. We have the Damn it. What happened? Oh It didn't oh because I have this checked create a new one from here uh, create a pull request uh, where is that? so what happened previously is I I mistakenly closed the pull, pull request before merging it so now in my case i you know i've already set up set up these things so you know the continuous integration thingy where if you push something it is already built tested and stuff so just ignore that for now when you say merge pull request right it's going to merge those two branches now once those branches are merged you see the master branch now there you go we have we have a second second line right now as a new feature it's a git checkout master okay and I'm say git pull now pull essentially goes to the remote and it downloads all the changes that were done so your friend will go to this and say git pull 
when it does that he has all the changes in in in, in his own machine right this is an excellent guide for it you should please get is one of the most important and basic things that we all should know if you have any single doubt you should contact me and try to learn as much as you can about get it is used in every computer science dom 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 domain all right you go to machine learning you go to software dev development anything these basic commands that we saw right is a very important pull push check check out and all those branching pretty simple right now that is pretty much it uh, if you have any questions please meet me in the office hours you can also drop 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 me an e email and uh, i think that is what is pretty much it for assignment number one so we have this okay just make sure you fo follow these things here so we, we should have a readme.txt file remember which should have your ec2 instance ad address all right your source code would have just one file called as in the so basically just have a folder in that folder have a readme in that folder you have a source code in that folder you have an industrial industrial html right so just make sure you follow the four folder structure it carries marks right uh thank you thank you guys and have a good weekend